Once you have completed your editing, you will typically want to export your work to a common interchange format so it can be shared and displayed. To do this in Affinity Photo, you can go to File and Export. This brings up an export dialog with a preview of your image on the left. At the very top, you can choose your desired export format. JPEG is the standard choice for sharing your work with others since you can reduce the file size by altering the quality slider. Down here, you will find the advanced section, and these options will change depending on the export format you have chosen. For JPEG, we have optional progressive encoding, which allows the image to be displayed and gradually enhanced as it is being downloaded or streamed. And this is quite useful when JPEGs are being displayed on a website. Unchecking this option, we'll use baseline encoding, which will only store one full scan of the image. And when being downloaded, it will gradually display from top to bottom. Do be aware that JPEG is a lossy format, so image quality will be compromised in order to produce a smaller file size. If you are exporting for archival purposes, or the intention is for the image to be edited further by someone else, you would be better off using a lossless option such as TIFF. You will notice that each format has various presets available. TIFF is a flexible format that can store color values in RGB, CMYK, and lab color models. It can also store values in 8-bit, 16-bit, or 32-bit precision. 8-bit is the most common format, which provides 256 unique values for each color channel. When you develop a raw image in Affinity Photo, the resulting document that is created is in 16-bit precision. This is beneficial for wider color spaces and reducing banding in flat tonal areas such as blue skies. If you wanted a suitable solution for long-term archival, and you can accommodate the increased file size, 16-bit TIFF is a good option. It would also enable you to perform more aggressive tonal adjustments to the exported file in the future. For the majority of purposes, however, 8-bit is sufficient. Within the Advanced section for TIFF exports, you will find an option for the compression method. ZIP is used by default and is generally the most efficient but it can have a significant impact on the encode and decode time. Although not using any compression is much quicker, it can produce dramatically larger files. Other formats include PDF, which is good for mixed discipline media where you have both raster and vector elements, PSD for interchanging with others outside of the Affinity ecosystem, OpenEXR and Radiance HDR, for linear high dynamic range workflows, and TGA, which is primarily useful for 3D modeling and game engine compatibility. One important factor to consider when exporting is your destination color profile, found down here. When exporting for the web or just for offline previewing with any image viewing software, a frequent complaint amongst users is that their colors look wrong. The common description is that colors look muted or have less saturation. This is attributed to color management within operating systems and web browsers, or rather the lack of color management. Because my image here contained bright red light trails, I chose to process my raw image in ROM RGB, which is the equivalent of ProPhoto RGB. This is a wider color space that allows for more intense color values compared to sRGB. When exporting, however, I may want to convert those color values from ROM RGB to sRGB so that I can ensure my image displays correctly across a wide range of hardware, image viewers, and web browsers. To do this, I can click on the ICC Profile dropdown and select sRGB, which is typically found at the bottom of the list. I may have to accept a small compromise in color fidelity by doing this, but it is often the best way to prevent inaccuracies with color when others are viewing your work. So this can be an important step if you are sharing your images with clients. However, if you are just working in sRGB for your own workflows, which is always the default color profile, then you do not need to worry about this color profile step. You can leave 
the ICC Profile option set to Use Document Profile. Once you have your settings configured, you can click Export, choose a location for your exported image, and click Save. And that is how you export your images using Affinity Photo. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for watching.